Hello friends, this video on ratio and proportion part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Look at a few questions now. Question number 1. Write true or false. 21 is to 6 is proportional to 35 is to 10. So for this we need to find out the values of each of the ratio. So first let's calculate 21 is to 6 which is equal to 21 by 6. Now HCF of 21 and 6 is 3. So divide the numerator and denominator by 3. So this becomes 7 by 2. So in a similar fashion we do it for 35 is to 10 which is equal to 35 by 10. So the HCF of 35 and 10 is 5. So divide the numerator and denominator by 5. So it becomes 7 by 2. So both are equal. Therefore this is true. Now I am not finding out the HCF for all the numbers because I have already taught you how to find HCF. So you can do that part on your own. Let's look at the next one. 0 0.9 is to 0 0.36 is proportional to 10 is to 4. So let's calculate this ratio first. 0 0.9 is to 0 0.36. So this would be equal to 0 0.9 by 0 0.36. So we all know that 0 0.9 can be written as 9 divided by 10. That's because after the decimal point you have one digit. So therefore after one you will have one zero. Similarly 0 0.36 can be written as 36 divided by 100 because after decimal point you have two digits. So that 100 will come here. So this is how you can write this. So this becomes 10 into 10 is 100. 9 into 4 is 36. Again, 2 twos are 4, 2 fives are 10. So this is equal to 5 by 2. So basically what we have done in this cancellation is nothing but just the same thing. Like how we find the HCF. If you want, you can find the HCF of 90 and 36 and then, you know, you, you can, the HCF would be 18 and then also you will get 5 by 2. In a similar way, let's calculate this ratio that is 10 is to 4, which can be written as 10 divided by 4. Now the HCF of 10 and 4 is 2. So let's divide the numerator and denominator by 2 which makes it 5 by 2. So in this case also the values of the two ratios are the same. Therefore this is also true. Question number 2. Are the following statements true? 7.5 liters is to 15 liters is equal to 5 kgs is equal to 10, 5 kgs is to 10 kgs. So let us try to find out the value of each of these ratios first this one and then this one. <coughs> so let us first work on 7.5 liters is to 15 liters. So this can be written as 7.5 divided by 15. Now 7.5 can be written as 75 by 10. So this would be 150 because 15 into 10 would be 150. Now this by prime factorization 75 can be written as 5 into 5 into 3. 150 can be written as 5 into 5 into 3 into 2. So the 5 5 will cancel. 3 3 would cancel. So you are left with 1 by 2. So that's the value which you get from left hand side. Now let's focus on the right hand side. That is 5 kgs is to 10 kgs. So this is equal to 5 by 10. Now if you divide it by 5 numerator and denominator because 5 is the HCF. So you get 1 by 2. So here also you get 1 by 2. So therefore this statement is true. Let's look at the next one. 32 meters is to 64 meters. So let's calculate how much is this. 32 meters is to 64 meters can be written as 32 by 64. Now again 32 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. 64 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. So here this 2 and 2 will cancel. So all these 2's will cancel. So this would be 1 by 2. So 32 by 62 will be 1 by 2. Now let us try to do the calculation for right hand side that is 6 seconds to 12 seconds. So 6 seconds is to 12 seconds can be written as 6 by 12. 
So now here if you divide the numerator and denominator by HCF, it is 1 by 2. So both are equal. So that means the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So this is also true. We will now focus a little bit on problem solving. How do we solve uh, problems from our day to day life? Let's look at this simple scenario. Let's say that if a book costs rupees 50, so cost of one book is rupees 50 and you have to find out the cost of eight such books. So how do you think you will find it out? Now that's pretty easy, right? What you will do is eight books each book is 50 so you just multiply 8 and 50 and you get it as 400 so you calculate that 400 would be the cost of 8 books so this is a simple scenario now instead of this if it was given to you that the cost of three books is rupees 50 so the cost of one book is not 50 instead three books cost is rupees 50 and you have to find out the cost of eight books so in this case, how are you going to find it out? So that is when you are given the cost for multiple books and you also need to find out the cost for multiple books, maybe some other number like here, three books cost is given, eight books cost you have to find out. So in these kind of situations, we make use of unitary method. So what is this unit? Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.